specific moment or epiphany behind the Alado Negro origin story? Not necessarily. I like making things up about it. I think that's kind of the wonderful thing about an alias. Helado Negro means black ice cream. It's food from a country that doesn't exist, just like the music is like from a place that doesn't exist. It's its own place. And I always like that. I know Young, Latin, and Proud went from a song to a t-shirt to a movement. That song in particular, I've described it as kind of like time traveling interdimensional lullaby that I was transmitting from an older me to a younger me. But I think that's what happens when you share art to the public. It leaves your personal sphere and, it, and people identify with it and kind of create their own stories with it. How would you say the work of Roberto Carlos Lange differs from the work of Elado Negro? I think there's like a very specific feeling when I'm doing a lot of negative work because it's album geared and then when I do things under my own name, it's not that it doesn't have a conceptual flow, but I think El Lado Negro itself has its own timeline that runs parallel with alternate universe for sure. You studied computer art and sound design at SCAD, and I'm interested in how you merge technology with your own voice. I didn't really start singing until like I was about 30. It was more of like a, an idea to experiment with my voice, to use my voice as an instrument itself. Kite Symphony. Four Variations is your current project with partner both in work and life and SCAD alumna, Christy Sword. Right, yeah. Christy and I, we met in school at SCAD. We've been together since then. It's like 19 years now. We've always collaborated. Yeah, you're so multi-talented. I think you can do anything you want. Leading the Q&A will be sound design major and SCAD honeybee, Angel Chiquana. Hi, Angel. <laughs> Hey, Angel. Like, how has your uh, current project, Kite Symphony and Marfa, evolved during like the past like few months? Christie's making these like ephemeral sculptures and strange pieces that react to the wind, and we're, we're filming them. You don't know what the landscape, the environment is going to do. It's also really challenging because when you make a plan and then you can't do it, we just had to kind of just re, um, just course correct. What informs your songwriting decisions between choosing uh, to sing in Spanish or English? I think it's like case to case. I've always just constructed things with sound and use sound as a guide and it starts forming a word, you know? And for me, luckily I have, you know, two languages in there that it's a little bit easier to find a new word, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it works, it works. Yeah. What would your suggestion be for beginner musicians trying to make solo music? Uh, just make Make what you want to make and share with your friends. Friends that care about you and it's a good time to, to do that. Obsesionado con mi boca Habla sin respirar Despacio te digo Porque nos falta un tiempo más para pasear este país nublado, este país nublado, para pasear este país nublado, este país nublado. And I haven't lost my mind thinking about you. And I haven't lost my breath shouting all the things we're about to do. And we'll take Turn, and we'll take our time Knowing that we'll be here long after you Para pasear este país nublado Este país nublado Para pasear este país nublado, este país nublado. No, no, no. Mm -hmm.
Laughing long nose, smiling harder makes me feel. Feeling stronger, holding, holding on to you. Para passear este país nublado, este país nublado. Para passear este país nublado, este país nublado. Ah, 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 ah,